Alright, um... This is gonna be a Let's Play. Um, this is Lord of the Rings Online. I used to play it all the time. Uh, I did start and finish the starting area. I did record it, but I didn't get video. So, <clears throat> I figured I'd start literally here. Um, in the starting area for the elves in... But just the elves, the dwarves start further north. But it's Lord of the Rings Online. It's free to play. Uh, you can pay uh, for added benefits if you want to, or you could do what I did when I first started playing about six, seven years ago. It was when The Hobbit came out. Um, I did free to play. I took it as a challenge to see how far I could get free to play if I could make it to end game, which there is no end game, but it, at that point, <clears throat> if I could make it to the end uh, of level at that point and I made it to uh, the Rohan expansion and that was when I finally actually had to pay I, I bought the Rohan expansion it was the first time so I made it up to I believe it was level 80 at the time uh, but I got everything free I ended up this is the map of the starting area I'm way down here this is where the dwarves are it's actually pretty decent distance but to get to write as a Rohan I did deeds I got points that I was able to apply towards uh, buying areas and I if I remember correctly bought troll shaws was the first thing I bought then the, no I didn't do Misty Mountains I went south I went into Aragon um, then through Moria I bought Moria, then came out on the other side. If I can get down into the map. Whoop, we went to Mordor. Roll with me. Okay, so I went to Moria, <coughs> which is a huge area. You do 10 levels through there. Um, got Lothlorien, then Rohan. Um, I didn't buy these two areas. Or. Um, southern Merk Merkwood. Oh, they've added more than Merkwood. This is stuff that I haven't uh, bought yet. Uh, then we did the East, East Rohan, West Rohan, then you go down further south into Gondor, which is through this. It's, it's huge. This game. It really is. Uh, maybe in time we'll get through it all together. If yeah, there's people interested in watching. So that gives you an idea. It's a very, very large map. Let's see. I'm doing the thing. Am I actually doing this on Twitch? Maybe. I don't know. But, all right, let's go. This is a starting area for elves. See, point, there's an elf. Uh, when you finish the training area, the start area, to kind of get you used to using the character, uh, you pop up in uh, certain areas. Elves pop up here. Um, dwarves end up at Thorn's Gate. Uh, humans and hobbits end up in Archiet, which is here. It's a, start, it, it's a starting area within a starting area. Um, I haven't played many humans or hobbits, uh, so I forget what their the training stage is for them, other than I think hobbits have something to do with an attack on the Shire. But you end up here and you go to the stage of completing this area and then exiting out to Comb, uh, which is the next town. And then you got Bree. So, alright, let's exit out. Let's get going. Uh, I already collected all of the quests here. Uh, when you do come in, there's a quest giver here. There's another quest giver, if I remember correctly, over here. And another one, as you can see, they got a ring over their head uh, that's blued out. It's letting me know I need a quest turn in there. Uh, there is another quest up here on this rise right there. And I'm going to have a little bit of fun because they, they altered the game a little bit. They, they changed the maps. 
Uh, there used to be a path that went up into this area that you could just kind of sneak along and go to. And now they've added, at least I think they did, because I do not remember coming up here and having that path over there. I remember it was all one long path that came up all the way to the top. Uh, this, I believe, that quest is sitting up there, I believe, is a quest for um, learning we like crafting, yeah. Finish it? Okay. Um, I might as well. Is that the provisioner? See, it's been a while, so <clears throat> please forgive me. Okay. Uh, you get to pick your particular craft. I always tend to go with uh, when I first start, Taylor, Forester, Prospector. And it's going to give me all these quests to give a shot, you know, get to learn how to do it. I am instead just going to look at the map real quick and it tells me where to go to do these quests. So I am heading up if I don't particularly get lost. I am heading up to start doing um, some quests. And for some reason, whenever I log in, it's always like, yeah, they had to change this. This has changed. They changed. Hmm. Fascinating. Die already. Oh yeah, I expected it to die a lot faster. That was, that was, okay. That was wooden, yeah, okay, I gotta kill those. So now I gotta find another one. And I'm hoping I'm going the right way, because again, the map has changed. taking longer than I expected. Yeah, I'm still firing. I'm just kind of moving things around to different locations. Oh my good lord. Okay. Okay, I'm going to take a break for a second.